Hello, I'm Shelby Smith of Shelly S Entertainment and welcome to the fifth season, twelfth episode of Simba NYC TV out of Brooklyn, New York. As we wind down this month of March, Women History Month, I have chosen to highlight Miss Angela Davis. She became known in the 1960s in the civil rights movement, an outspoken activist. She became a strong supporter of three prison inmates, the Soldad brothers, who were charged with killing a white correction officer. As a result of her purchasing firearms used in the takeover, of a California courtroom, she was placed on the FBI 10 most wanted list. The witch hunt for a woman who fought for the liberation of black people easily became a means to attack a community of people. Black women across the nation were pulled over in cars, stopped on the street, and accosted for being black while wearing a natural. Angela Davis was finally taken into custody and tried. After a highly publicized trial and the campaign of Free Angela Davis, she was found not guilty. She remains to this day a rallying cry for social change. Now today I am taking you to Stockholm, Sweden. Yes, Sweden. Where we are going to hang out with Swedish artist Oscar Frazen, who does reggae music. And as they say in Sweden, hey door, which means hello. So first we are going to watch the video, Rise and Shine by Mr. Liji. We are going to then meet with Oscar Frazen. We are going to have our usual book talk health corner and get straight. Are you ready? Because you know what? I am. Don't go anywhere. I keep my head up high Cause I know Jah won't make me stumble He's always there for I Oh, <laughs> 
to Simba NYC TV. It is an absolute pleasure to have you on the show. Wonderful, the power of the uh, the technology, the internet. Yeah, yeah, really, really true, true. Yeah, it's so amazing. Tell me about <laughs> your background, and tell me how you got started in the music business. Yes, uh, my background. I was born in '68, 1968. Mm -hmm. I grew up in the '70s. I start to like music early. I liked when uh, I see it on television, and I like the drama. Mm -hmm. I like the drama, <laughs> and I said I want to do this. Mm -hmm. And I had the opportunity too, because in Swedish schools way back, but back then, it's, I don't know how it is now, but you can learn an instrument, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So it, when I was in the third grade, I was about nine years old, I started to learn drums, mm. you know, mm -hmm. the whole kit. Yes. And uh, then, I, then I was good at it, because I have, uh, I have that, you know, type of rhythm in me. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was fun, and then I started to play with different groups. And I started early on because all the guys around me saw this guy is a drummer uh, and he can play with us. Mm -hmm. and, and then I started to go into 13, 14. I started to listen to all of the music that came out back then. Mm -hmm. so it was uh, different type hip hop, you know, hip hop music. I started to love. Mm -hmm. I started to dance, you know, electric boogie yes. and stuff. When hip hop was new uh, in the world, mm -hmm. it was a some movie, a break breakdance to move, I don't know, but mm -hmm. everybody started, a lot of people started to dance. Yes. We, I was in a crew, who we puppets, and we danced around Stockholm mm -hmm. and in city, and it was, you know, everybody was looking. Mm. And uh, oh, like mm -hmm. that. So tell me, when were you first introduced? and attracted to, to reggae. Yeah, it was early, early when I heard Bob Marley had a, you know, he was so great big, so they played like, could you be loved? That was a huge hit in uh, Sweden mm -hmm. in the 70s, I don't know, 78 or 79. But then, me and my 
my friends started to listen to different records and started by like Uprising and mm -hmm. you know, all of these uh, records that, that was mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. and then he died in 81. Mm -hmm. I was, he played in uh, Stockholm in 80, 81 too. Mm -hmm. In Stockholm. I was too young to go. Mm -hmm. I was like 14 or something. But mm -hmm. if I had like a sister, uh, older sister or something that maybe was into it, mm -hmm. maybe she, she could have grabbed me there, <laughs> but I hadn't. <laughs> mm -hmm. So what would you say is the message in your music? And the message, I, I, I try to bring this message of a more love, take care of each other, mm -hmm. uh, more social living, you know, some party, maybe some, you know, what do you call it, uh, politics, uh, you know, talking about the world and mm -hmm. money and things. Uh, my message is mostly to feel love, you know, be with each other, dance, dance a lot, it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. uh, feel your body and soul, feel free, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Uh, mm -hmm. And speaking of dancing a lot, uh, the song, Demsa Mera, am I saying that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Top, top notch. Top notch. So you know what I want to do now? I want my viewers to look at the video, enjoy the video, and we'll be right back. Then I go to tell a dancer the route. Alla som stuffar loss, alla festivaldansare, alla vardagsrumsdansare, alla på disco. Går in på klubben, glider ut på dansfolvet Vem är det som är ansvarig här egentligen? Inte bara sig på alla sätt Ja vi dansar här och vi dansar så lätt Inga bekymmer, det är varmt och hett Livet leker och ljudet är fett Så kom igen allihopa och dansa mer Det är bästa sättet man kan motionera Piano to it are in some shop Bada bang, trumman och basen spelar upp Passa på och tossa på och berätta om vad jag gör Ta på mig massan när det är kallt och jag kör Inte moppe, jag kör inte bil När jag åker i bussen i din vänster Fint för det är fint Kollektivt och vi dansar hit och vi dansar dit Och vi dansar ute på landet och vi dansar on the street Så kom igen allihopa och dansa mera Det bästa sättet man kan levitera på Dansa mera Det bästa sättet man kan visa Check out dansen Fush Går vi till höger sen Går vi till vänster ja Lite till vänster sen Går vi neråt ja Ner mot marken ja Vi dansar mot golvet ja Vi dansar ner mot marken Nu är vi nästan där nere Faktiskt där nere Vi är faktiskt nere på golvet ja Dansar nere ja Vi 
vi dansar där nere Runt längs golvet, ja, runt längs marken, ja Kom, kom igen, vi reser oss upp Reser oss upp, ja, vi dansar upp och ja, vi dansar nonstop Ja, vi dansar upp, ja, vi dansar oss upp Dansar upp, dansa mer Oh man, I just can't stop moving my feet and your your energy. Where'd you get that kind of energy from, from beginning to end? Yeah, 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 yeah. We have done since uh, when I was a child. <laughs> and that's energy from a child. Mm. Yeah, 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 I'm kind of blessed too, but we have mm -hmm. this energy. Because I have it. Uh, mm. It's only like I learned to dance when I was really early. I danced my way home from school. <laughs> uh, singing in the rain. You know that movie? Singing in the rain. It's a movie. It's a dancing guy going on, Gene Kelly. And uh, I liked it, that movie. So I danced. And then I started to dance about it. And then I danced. Uh, yeah. At parties, and then as I told you, uh, mm -hmm. when I start to do electric boogie yeah. and uh, break dance, and kind of yeah. Tell me about the reggae scene in Sweden. What what is it like? Mm. The reggae scene in Sweden is good. It's, it's a grown, grown uh, couple of years. Like uh, Millennium and before that, it was like almost like if you listen to reggae, you must be. Mm. Smoking and doing all of this thing too, if you like ring. Yes. So, but now, it's, now they play it on cafe and everywhere. Now, ring mm -hmm. have taken over. All and over. we have lots of Swedish mm -hmm. artists. Mm -hmm. Really good. Mm -hmm. But then we have the festivals, we have now we have the Uppsala Reggae Festival. We went yes. down for a couple of years, now it's up again and running. Wonderful. We have top artists, you know, all in the best. Mm -hmm. Two days, and now we have another good festival called uh, yes. Land Roots. It's at an island, and it's very nice. And then mm -hmm. there we have all these Swedish artists and these yeah. international artists mm -hmm. uh, playing there too. I want to introduce another song, another video, and it's called Bumble Clot. Tell me about that song. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> Should I talk about that? <laughs> Should I talk about that song? Yes. Bumba Clat. It's a Bumba Clat. Uh, you know what it means, but in Swedish I could play with the word. And when I say Bumba, Bumba Clat, it mm -hmm. means... Uh, what? Bomb, but bomb, bomba is like bomb from planes. The clot is like finish. So it's when have you stop bombing? Mm. In Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, and, and then I start to write this tune. I, I get a nice rhythm from a couple of guys in Gothenburg through internet. Uh, and, and then I start to run this. Lyric, and it's all about man, uh, the, the weapon industry, yes. and the money in it, and the, the, the role Sweden plays in it, and has played for thousand years, mm -hmm. even since we were Vikings, we were really good fighters, mm -hmm. and uh, the North Man here yes. in Europe, and even back in mm -hmm. the States. Vikings came yes. uh, early, early mm -hmm. on. So we still do that. 
for and we are one of the best countries and we run these team okay. operations with the state. We were very close to the state when we were you know, in, in war. Mm -hmm. But uh, nobody nobody talks about it. Mm -hmm. Swedish people think we are a peaceful mm -hmm. country. Yes, but the, the, the people who know us know Sweden is uh, one of the most dangerous countries mm -hmm. in a way. Yes. Weaponary, weaponary and uh, tell, uh, tell it to, you know, mm -hmm. tell it to, mm -hmm. listening and all of these things, Sweden yeah. number one. Mm -hmm. So what I want, I want to show the video and we'll be right back. Check out this video. Bumbleclot. Bumbleclot. So we're back from the video. I want to know 
what are you, I mean, this song, Bambokrat, what are you currently working on? What are you working on now? Yeah, yeah, that, that's interesting because now we had this uh, doing this, all of these things for a while. Underground, I've been underground for reasons because I don't want to be known or famous because I was early famous. Mm -hmm. I was on MTV with a group called Stackabo, it was even in the States showing the sun. Uh, here we go again, here we go. go, go. Anyway, that was a huge hit, and I was famous, and I didn't like it, because, you don't know, if somebody likes it, but a lot of people don't like it. Mm. Right? But you have to do it, because if you have a message and a mission, like Bob Marley, you had to be famous, to get the message of yes. Rastafari out. Mm -hmm. But uh, now, I'm, I'm going overground again. So. I'm going to release this new hip-hop album in Swedish mm. and then I'll start to write English again. Okay. Uh, so I do different songs and then I'm going to do this album, mm -hmm. uh, vinyl, uh, vinyl, and it's going to be different genres. Mm. But yeah, you know, I have this album and I can say to my mm -hmm. grandchildren, mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what? I, I need your social media information so we can follow you. No, I have YouTube. Yes. YouTube uh, where I put videos. I don't have any site, but I'm now stepping up. Stepping up now on overground. I guess I fixed this. Mm -hmm. but the best way to follow me now is YouTube. And you have that address. Yes. Uh, yeah, so you can say it to yeah. the audience. And I want to say this, I'm going to go to London and hook up with friends there, good people, hip-hop and reggae people. Mm -hmm. And then I go to Jamaica, in, for the first time in my life. Wonderful. I there, you know. We have link up to go mm -hmm. to Jamaica in November. Mm -hmm. I link up with great artists, mm -hmm. you know. I try to link up with King mm -hmm. Yellow Man. I try to link up with Barney Wayla. Mm -hmm. You know, so if I do, I don't know if I succeed, but that's um, mm -hmm. I meet other people, Rastas there, mm -hmm. musicians, and then go back mm -hmm. yeah. to for unification time, yeah. 2018. Thank you so much for joining me on Simba NYC TV. It was an absolute pleasure. I can't wait to for you to come back with your hip-hop song and, you know, just to be able to see you again. I'm planning to meet you guys too. <laughs> uh, if, I go, if I go there in November. Yeah. If, if to the You're coming to New York. To I can come, I always sit you in New York and then go to Jamaica. Beautiful. So when you get to New York, hit up Simba NYC TV. We would love to meet, meet up with you. Wow. You know? Really? Thank you. Anna. Thank you again. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Hi, folks. You know who I am. I'm Shelby Smith of Shelby S Entertainment, and I'm the host of one of the hottest shows, if not the hottest show in New York City, and it's Simba NYC TV. A lot of you artists, you've been reaching out to me on Facebook and IG and saying that you want to be on this show. But you don't live in the tri-state area. So I'm going to fix that. We are going to be providing Skype interviews. I want to be able to show all the dopest artists, not only in New York, but all around the world. So you know what you can do? You can reach out to me by my Facebook, which is Shelby Smith, by email, which is S-H-E-L-L-Y-S-W-K-R-S-S -S at gmail.com. You can go to my entertainment page, Shelly S. You can also friend me on Skype. And the name on Skype is Shelby Smith. Send me a link to your music and your time zone. That's so important because I don't want to be calling you while you're sleeping. So link me, link me, link me. And you can be an artist on Simba NYC TV show. Yes, it's all about you.
You wanna hide something from a Negro? Put it in a book. Welcome to Book Talk. Today's book is titled Home Girls and Hand Grenades by Sonia Sanchez. This is a book of poetry and prose that covers many aspects of life in this country. She speaks through this book in an easy language, the language of the streets, the language of the brothers and sisters of the city as they struggle to survive. The words, they are transferred from the page to the eye, then quickly to the heart and the soul. The beauty of Sonia Sanchez's work lies in how she boldly allows poetry and politics to collide. So what's left are a passionate collection of poems that are equally revolutionary and delicate. She is often hailed as one of the most essential writers of the Black Arts Movement. And the name of the book is Home Girls and Hand Grenades by Sonia Sanchez. Thank you so much for joining me today on Book Talk and I'll see you next week. It's time to read. You want to hide something from a Negro? Put it in a book. Made in Brooklyn, New York City. Elise! Tasty pepper sauce make everything taste good. It makes everything taste good. It makes everything taste good. It makes everything taste good. For all inquiries, please contact 646-657-4277 or email at Elaine's Tasty Pepper Sauce at gmail.com. Prevention is better than a cure. Health Corner. Welcome to Health Corner. And today I am going to be talking about fibroids. Now, what are fibroids? Fibroids are abnormal growths that develop in or on a woman's uterus. These growths, they are typically benign and non-cancerous. Fibroids, they are not genetically associated, meaning you can have it, but your sister might not. It still remains unclear as to what causes fibroids. It is known that it does occur during the reproductive years and may be related to estrogen levels. Most of the time, women don't even know they have fibroids because they don't have the symptoms. But when the fibroid it starts to grow, people may experience symptoms such as enlargement of their abdomen, lower back pain, excessive or painful uterine bleeding, leading to anemia. Black women are three times more likely than women of other races to get fibroids. Extensive research is still being done as to why. Why do fibroids develop in the first place? And why are black women getting them more frequently and with more severity than other races? Thank you so much for joining me on Health Corner where we will have more topics, especially I think related to women. Thank you and I will see you next week. Prevention is better than a cure. Health Corner. Hey, I'm Mr. Leegee and thanks for visiting our page. This page is the home to Simba NYC TV show with the beautiful host Shelly S. And she interviews all the hot upcoming artists from around the world and she shows their music videos. Other segments on the show is Book Talk, Health Corner, and Get Straight, the melodrama skit, which you don't want to miss. The Zara and Daddy Show, Unla Music Entertainment Inc., the Time to Give Back to Africa nonprofit organization, and it's also my home, so check out my music videos. The experience begins at your fingertips, so hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so that you'll be notified every time we upload something new. And we upload something new every week, periodically. So hit that subscribe button and let that wonderful experience begin.
But they don't know what I feel inside Only you know Only you know I finally, I finally get my own place. God, thank you. Thank you so much. I pray so long and hard for this. You know, people might say it's just an, a room. Where's the big deal? It's not an apartment, but it's mine, it's mine. You don't know how I feel. I live for a long time at the mercy of people. But now I have my own place. Yeah, I ain't got no furniture yet. I lying down on my little cut. But you know, I'll get things. It'll come one thing at a time. You know, I don't like to think about it. But when I add people, I never feel such a peace to be able to come through the door. Nobody can show me a bad face. I feel an unwanted. But I have to live through it, I have to smile and act like everything all right with me. Look at my place. And you know what? I know me. And this is just the beginning. I'm tired of bowing down. This is a new Nikki. It's been a long journey for Nikki. Living here, living there. But I'm ready. I'm ready to stand on my own. <laughs> I can't even tell the things I've been through. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't want to put myself with some men and things that I ain't want to be with. Just to survive. I have to be honest, I have to tell the truth. That's how I was living. I won the green card. I was hoping somebody would give it to me. But I'm ready. I'm ready to stand on my feet and I'm ready to get everything that's due me. I know it ain't looking like no big deal, but look at the peace I feel it. I could lie down late. I could put my clothes, I could burn my spliff in peace. Oh God. I like it here, I like it. I like it, I really like it. Mm. So how can I go living this way? Blessed love.
Sha Rastafari. What beauty I've behold this morning. What honor I behold this morning, Empress. Royalty. <laughs> Selassie and Empress Menin. Jano. <laughs> Empress, this is a beautiful surprise. My name is Trevor, by the way. Uh, what's your name? It's Nikki. Empress Nikki. Jano Selassie, I know. Your royalty. You know, we get a text, you know. We get a text from Mr. Mark this morning. And if I tell me, say, I text it. I want a new tenant that come in at the place. But I never know, say, <laughs> should have been so beautiful like you. Thank oh. you for the compliment. You're right, man. You know, the pleasure is all mine. Thank you so much. <laughs> Janu, I want, I, I want this. So wait, tell me something. Me didn't take an accent, you know. Wait, don't tell me. Make me guess. Ah, uh, I don't know where you come from. Never that. <laughs> Alright, don't tell me yet, don't tell me yet. Give me one more try. Ah, uh, me know the accent there, you know. Anyway, in the world, you know, me know the accent there. Wait. A tree that you come from, man. That is right. I said tree to the bone. <laughs> What are the children that they have beauty, I must say. Jano. Well. So when, who's you? You like you the, the welcoming committee? You know, the compliments? <laughs> well, you know, you have to give credit where credit is due, you know. And me call it on my seat. You see me? Natural, you know. <laughs> you are well done. So wait, now tell me. Me sure say you don't know where me come from. Tell me now. That's an easy one. Jamaica. Yes, sir. Like boat. You know, see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, you know, me know I hold you up, you know. This is just, a, I'm just really happy to, to, to run into such a, a beautiful empress of the world, you know. Mother of civilization this morning. You know, it's a pleasant surprise. You know, right now, I get ready for go away. And um, I have some things we're going to deal with. Mm -hmm. But um, you might even ask me a personal question. What kind of question you want to ask me? Oh, man, mm -hmm. easy empress. You know, I'm not disrespecting you, see me? <laughs> you see me? I'm not disrespecting you, you know. I know, say, you royalty, you know. I just choose, say, me see a crown by your head, you know, and. I don't want to assume, but I feel like it's a far eye. A far eye, don't it? Mm. Far eye? True that. Well, all right then. Here we want to ask you. So you're born to go her? Yeah. I say you come to ask me some kind of stupid, fast question. Yeah, I just bought it. Yeah? Yeah. Well, all right then. I just that I want to ask you, man. No. <laughs> No fret, no fret, no worry, no fret. So hold on, yeah, I'm so come, yeah? Hold on. Where are you going? No, man. You come in my place and I want to give you a little welcoming present for all a little meditation later. You see me? Just like that? A uh, present for me? Hold on, man. Don't worry about nothing, man. Mm -hmm. Things don't come for disrespect here. Yeah? Don't come here for disrespect here, yeah, Empress. I just want to show you some love as you are coming out, please. You see what I said? But soon come, hold on. I know how they're men and men just start to be thinking, you know, a present. Yeah, a present, you know? Yes, I didn't come here for that. Control that, man. Are you that? Nice for me. Yeah, man, control that, man. You know, you can't. We'll have a meditation later. Nearly, you know. Probably when you don't eat or something. No disrespect to you, Mr. Trevor, but you like how this world is working, you know. <laughs> Nobody don't give you something for nothing. You see the kind of world we're living in. Oh, Empress. It's really your scene. 
Empress me know what you're saying now. Mm -hmm. I love that. Because that show me say, you're street smart and you know where I'm going out here, sir. Right? But trust me, I'm tell you this. This is just a little gift, a welcoming gift, you know. You're making my drop my thing. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that, baby. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> you see me? Yeah, man, it's just a little welcoming gift, man. You know, you know, you know, home and nothing, man. Everything good, man. See? Everything blessed, yeah? Alright, if you say so. No man, no, not to worry about nothing man, everything good, yeah? So me I follow you know because I work man, I go work now. See? So remember say so you can just come over my you see that room there, my room that you can just knock my door anytime you need anything. And we can reason. Oh. See? Mr. Mac bring me by the night, you know, but you wasn't home. Yeah man, I know the thing worried man. You know, they are work and we deal with some things, you see it? So full joy the evening, full joy the morning, full joy the night time. I will see you in such time. <laughs> see? <laughs> bless and love, yeah, Empress? Yes. Yeah, no. Again, have a blessed one, yeah? All right, Trevor. Look at more. Thank, thanks for everything, eh? Yes, sir. Respect. Girl, let me tell you something. Alright? When I see your legs start trembling, so I say something wrong, you know. Then I let and I see all our water, your beer water, like you give me showers of blessings. <laughs> showers of blessings. Yes. Man, I say go there. I never see so much water yet, so. All night thinking about this thing, you know. How else she could I get in this room? How Nikki get in here? And the more I think about it, it had to be Paul. It ain't nothing else. But Paul went and picked up with you, but I come and bring she in tail out. And ting, 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 ting. And next thing you know, she here. You know what I'm going to call him? I'm going to call him and ask him. Well, where is your LC? Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, Sally. Sally, hold on. Hold on, hold on, baby. Hold on. Huh? Somebody dip on my next line. Hold on. All right. He coming back here, so hold on. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> what Gavi want now? What's up, Gavi? What you saying, man? Eh? Hey, what happened, Paul? What you saying, man? How you day, boy? Yo, last night, boy. I do say in my room chilling, boy. I do say pay me some rent, uh, Mr. Mac my rent. Next thing you know, Mr. Mac introduced me to my tenant, Nikki. The same girl I asked the one pick up to bring in the pill out. Is you bring she in? Yeah, man. But you know that, Gary. And me vexing her. That she get a room, you know, because everybody deserves to get some place to live. You know what I mean? But that's where she did give my heads up now, my boy. You know what I'm saying? You know, somebody looking for a room. Do the same way you was in that position before. I, I ain't think you're supposed to feel nothing about that, you know? But um, I could tell you something, though, you know. <laughs> boy, Gary, I like she bought his raw soul, yeah? Like she bought his raw soul. I want to put a wicked foot on that. Man, I ain't gonna lie to you, boy, y'all. You want them to treat that young woman? Them sexy is raw soul, boy. And when I see she, man, from all the night when I see she, man, I say, you want to hold that and put a good foot on that. Well, eh, uh, all the best with that, you know. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to know where this scene, right? 
But you're not easy. When it comes to these skits, you don't play. We gonna talk. Alright? I ain't gonna let you know though when they done beat that. Later, later then. Yeah, so later. Bless. <laughs> yeah. Everybody deserves to, you know. Get a little place and start and thing, you know. Let me fight and she don't, you know. Just as long as she stay out of my way and then try to stop me from getting straight. I good. Hi, <laughs> Paul. <laughs> Nikki, Nikki. What's up, baby? See, like you settling in nice in the place here, yeah, man. <laughs> Come out to the bathroom and thing and looking you know, all glistening with water all over your skin. You know what? <laughs> so, let me take a girl. You going? You alright? You know, I would like to explore under that towel later. <laughs> Tommy talk is this ball. I going on so I can make a turn. You going, man, wait, man. You going. Don't forget, you know. Forget? Forget what? You may forget what. Don't act like you, you know. You know, you owe me big time, you know, Nikki. You know what I'm saying? Me and you have a score to settle. You know that. Or you? Or you? I owe you. You get tired of me, you But I'm gonna say this to you. I don't want people to get the wrong idea. I don't want people to think I am grateful. I'm grateful. Thank you, Paul. Thank you for talking to your uncle. Thank you for vouching for me. But I don't owe you nothing. All right, now, Nikki. You paying my bills? You paying for my room? Nikki. I pay my own bills. Nikki, 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 calm down now. Don't, 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 don't make so much noise now. Calm down. I want everybody to know because I want when the man boss, they know the truth. You ain't get no f room for me. I pay my own way. All right now, Nikki. All right now. I just figured that, listen, don't, listen, man. Calm down, Nikki. I'm hey, sorry about that. Eh? Sorry? Every time I look around, you always in my face. Calm down, Nikki. Always in my face. He's up now. Where's your scene? N N Nikki, because I checked for you, ma. Mister, thank you. Thank you for everything. But get out of my face. Every time I turn around, it's the same and you, you all over me. You see that one man like you can't get nothing. Nikki, Nikki. You can't get nothing. They're driving all up and down in your Uber. And they get just stay out of my face. Stay out of my way, Paul, while we're in this room. Stay out of my way. Yes. I think this is. Thirsty. That's why this can't get nothing. Stay the f out of my face. That's why man like you, they can't get nothing. All kind of tusty man thing. Every time I turn around, Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. Have some respect for me. What do you think this is? Stay out of my face, Paul. Give me room, Nikki, but I didn't mean it like that, you know. I just wanted to let you know, you know. I didn't mean it like that. Let me know what? Trying to disrespect me? All right, all right, all right then. He's sorry about that, all right? He's sorry about that. You better watch your step at me, and you better recognize. You taking my kindness for weakness. He's sorry about that, you know. I didn't just figure that, you know. It's a mutual understanding. That is all. But don't make so much noise now. You don't want everybody else to hear what is going on between me and you. You think I care? You think I care? I am accustomed to people talking about me, man. I am accustomed. Already. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. They say everything in the sea is shark, and I am a shark head. Already. Stay out of my way, Paul. Already. I'm sorry about that. 
金箔。Enjoy the music of Mr. Oscar Franzen. Thank you so much for joining us. And you know what? If you want to keep seeing the dopest artists from around the world, subscribe on YouTube. Ring that bell. It's that simple. Now the question is, what are you waiting on? Subscribe. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Jai's life, love, and it's all we need. See you next week. Show with Chubby S Entertainment.